Fainted heart, I'm telling you. It's a tad. I mean, the road itself is really beautiful, it's nice, but the caves around it makes it difficult. And I'm told there's always um, fogs here. I'm told there's always fogs. What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? What's up? I have your guy Imani on the wheels right now, taking you in the most difficult road that, according to me, I have never driven in a scary road before like this R71 in Limpopo. Guys, oh my goodness, Danin people, how do you get to Pulukwan? <laughs> Ask the people from Zanin how they get to Pulukwan and they will tell you about this road. It is actually awesome, it's beautiful. I mean, driving in it really feels different. It feels so different and scary at the same time. <laughs> Thanks a lot for coming back to watch my videos. Uh, as you know guys, I'm coming from Zanin and now I'm heading to Pulukwan. And I decided to capture all these images because uh, the road was really thrilling. I wanted you guys to see how much beautiful is this road and scary at the same time. <laughs> yeah guys, I was alone. I wanted to see a couple of things around the road. There was uh, a few things I wanted to visit along this R71. But unfortunately, the weather was not on my side and uh, it really was scary that I actually uh, got really scared to visit the things that I wanted to go. I wanted to go to Dibengeni, Dibengeni Falls. That's I failed uh, because I didn't know the entrance. Uh, my GPS got me, uh, yes, my GPS got me lost. and told me to go back the entrance is supposed to be down from where I was coming from and he uh, directed me to a place uh, where I'm supposed to see a board oh no more get on my song hey the bengen the bengen what do you want to do 
चल ओके I could not see the ball. I traveled back around two kilometers, three kilometers, and I saw no. I don't see anything, and I went back. So, guys, yeah, I decided to go ahead, and I used the route R71. Still, of course, my gear was a GPS. And I was just following and following because my visibility was uh, very low. I think at some point it was about five meters, if not less, for you to be able to see what's ahead of you. I continued with the route, and yeah, <laughs> it was really beautiful. I was speechless. Wow, 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 guys, this route. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! This road <laughs> is exciting, it's scary at the same time. I was speechless at some point and it was scary because you don't know what can come ahead of you. Somebody could just be losing control ahead of you and jumped onto you or something like that. So yeah, you guys enjoy, take a seat and enjoy. Let's just uh, drive around. I won't be talking so much. We're just gonna be driving. And I hope you guys are going to enjoy this video. Um, driving from Zanin to, uh, uh, where is this place? Um, uh, Moria, Moria where the ZCC church is uh, so many people come around to Moria to pray
at least at least the road is, is open it looks open at least one can now go
Ngoma magunzi magulom shaba. Yeye ma magunzi magulom shaba. Yeye ma magunzi magulom shaba. Yeye ma magunzi magulom shaba. Asasi. Asasi no masopila no magushani Asasi, asasi no masopila no magushani Yeye ma magunzi magulom shaba Yeye ma magunzi magulom shaba Yeye ma magunzi magulom shaba Basically, I'm back in the dry South Africa. <laughs> so funny. I mean, right there behind, it was like it's in the we are in the forest and it rains every day. But now here, where I am, it's so dry. Look for yourself. Check. You won't believe it's the same road. Look, I'm even sweating. It's even hot here. <laughs> Can you believe it? Just five minutes, you're freezing. Five minutes, you were freezing. Now, you're sweating. Crazy. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.